Do you want to create screen capture videos for free? If you do, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you an excellent free tool called ScreenPal. It's just been updated, so these are the latest videos. It's a really simple tool to use, but it does actually offer a few interesting advanced features as well. This video is a beginner's video. It's going to take you right from the beginning how to use ScreenPal and how to make your own screen capture videos. If you already know a little bit about ScreenPal, you might find more interest in the video that's on the screen now that you can click on that will take you to some of the advanced features like the fact that you can um, add a webcam to your screen captures that you can use actually image capture in screen power as well you can organize your videos into folders and you can use a drawing tool as well really hope you like this video this is the beginners video screen pal great tool completely free as always if you like it please like it please share it with other teachers and students please comment on it and of course join me on my youtube channel let's get started Okay, we're on ScreenPal, and I do advise you to actually sign up. You can actually make screen recorder recordings without even signing up, but if you sign up, there are quite a few advantages to creating an account. It doesn't cost you any money to create an account. I've got my account already created, and I'm gonna click and just go into it, and I'll explain some of the advantages of actually creating an account. One of the best things is that you can actually save your videos in your account, and you can embed them and share the links or even embed the videos. So just by creating an account, it means immediately you've got some space to save a certain number of your videos. And then the other advantages, of course, is that it's very easy to actually just record. And that's what we're gonna look at first. How do you do a screen recording using ScreenPal? In the description below, you will see a link to ScreenPal if you do want to try and use it. Let's start then by making an actual recording. So all you need to do is click on this button here to launch the recorder. Now, when you click on that button, what it's going to do is download a little app onto your computer. It will take a few seconds. You can see it doing that now. And then click on Open ScreenPal. And you should say see that the recorder appears on the screen. Now once that recorder appears, and there it is, now this is where sometimes people get confused, and I'm just explaining what you need to do. Now obviously you don't want to record what's on the screen here, you're going to want to record something else. So the next thing that you need to do is just click away from this recording area, just click here to reactivate the browser, and then just minimize your browser so that then you can choose exactly what you want to record. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a picture onto the screen. So I'm going to click here and I'm just going to grab some pictures from my computer and I'm going to talk over a picture. It's going to be a really easy way of doing this. So if I come here and just click on pictures and then I'm just going to grab a picture. In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll use here, I've got a picture of um, Henry VIII. I'm going to use this picture here to talk over. So you can see now that I've got a picture of Henry VIII on the screen, and obviously I can resize the recorder area because I'm not gonna be recording such a big area of the screen. So I, if I was going full screen, obviously I could make it much bigger, but if I'm just doing something like this, I can make it a lot smaller. Now I can include my webcam as well. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it on with me, especially because this, this screen is quite small, but you do have the choice of obviously recording your camera or recording both. Make sure of course that you've got the right microphone connected. So just make sure that your microphone's connected correctly. Now once you're ready, just click on this button here and you can start recording. This is Henry VIII, uh, he was the King of England and he was actually the king that broke with the Catholic Church. If I want to pause, I can click on this button here. If I want to continue, I can just click again and carry on recording. He was first married to Catherine of Aragon, but then he fell in love with Anne Boleyn and he wanted to marry her. However, he couldn't get divorced etc etc now one thing i'm just going to point out to you if i just do a little bit more recording watch this you can also while you're recording 
click on this button here and it's going to open up a, the option of drawing onto the screen. So if you click here, you'll notice that you've got these tools here at the top and you can, for example, click on a tool and draw on the screen. Now, this doesn't come out very well on this particular one. I'm actually going to undo it. But you do have these options here. If you were recording over a PowerPoint slide or something, that could be a really useful option. Okay, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to click on done. Now I've got various options, but what I'm going to do is show you this one and there's various reasons why. I want to click on this because we can save the video onto our computer. We can also check the video is working and we can also save the video into the account that we created at the beginning in case we want to embed the video anywhere. So I'm going to click on save and upload and you'll notice that the video is immediately ready and in fact we can play that video and just check that it's working. This is Henry VIII, uh, he was the King of England and he was actually the king that broke with and you can see that the recording works absolutely perfectly. Just a super quick break from the video, if you do like what you see please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, loads more free videos, I specialise in using technology and teaching and particularly in language teaching. Uh, you can also find out about my courses. I do run a complete training in educational video creation course if you want to learn about screen capture in much more detail. And the other thing is if you sign up to the newsletter, you get updated with all the blog posts, the uh, webinars that I do, which are often free, the online courses, and of course the latest videos. But there's also a 14-part video course in using technology in teaching and learning. There are no tricks. I send you a video every four or five days on just one topic and that can be quite useful. Right, let's get back to the video. Now what you can also do is that you can actually save this recording as a video straight onto your computer by just clicking here and then giving it a name. So I'm just going to click here and I'll call this test video. Sorry. And I'm going to save that on my desktop. So it's on my desktop. I'm going to include the cursor. I'm going to click on publish. And that video is actually immediately ready. Now, if I go to the desktop of my computer just to show you, I'm just going to minimize here, minimize here, minimize here. And then we'll go to the desktop. There is that video. And I can actually click on that video now and play it. So let's just quickly click on that video. This is Henry VIII. Uh, he was the King of England and he was actually... Now that's excellent. Immediately created, ready to save onto Moodle or to save onto Blackboard or save it wherever you want. Really simple to make a video using ScreenPal. Now I'm going to show you a second example. On this second example, we're going to record over a, a Google slide, a power, like a PowerPoint slide, but we're going to use Google Slides. I'm going to click on Recorder. Again, it's going to open up the record area. Remember, I want to minimize um, this uh, browser. And I've got here a kind of slide already. So I'm going to turn Slideshow on and just move it back to the beginning of the Slideshow. Then I'm going to go full screen. Uh, because I want to record the whole of this and then I'm going to click again on this button here and just start recording. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and today we're going to talk about game based learning that is quick and easy to set up. I'm going to pause, just move to the next screen by clicking on it and then I'll carry on the video and what I'll do is I'm going to use the pen. So, we will be looking at a variety of tools and I'm hopefully going to show you lots of different tricks that are going to help you. And don't forget this is going to be predominantly hands-on. When I want to exit drawing, I just click here. And then when I want to exit the recording, just click here. I'll click on done. I won't do any more. I'll click on done. Click on save and upload. I'm just doing this because I want to uh, show you the video first but I could click here and it will immediately save the video into my account but I'm going to click here just going to quickly show you that video let's just check it and see if it's working 
Good morning ladies and gentlemen and today we're going to talk about game. Okay so now let's just move that play head along and see if it actually did the drawing. Look at that, it draws right around it, absolutely fabulous. Okay, But this time what we're going to do is we're going to save it up onto screen pal. So we click here and we'll give it a name. So we're just going to call this test recording. Draw because I also drew in it. I'm going to click on publish. Everything else I'm going to leave the same. Just going to click on publish, and that's going to now be saved into my account. If you are looking for a more sophisticated tool than Screen Pal, then I would suggest Camtasia. I actually make my videos, these videos for example, using Camtasia. And I do have a completely free course in using Camtasia which is on YouTube. And I'll put the link on the screen now to that just in case you want to access that course. So once the video's uploaded, let's actually um, go. We're going to click on done. We've got various options here. We can actually open the upload if we want to. And we can copy the link straight to the video if you want to then share that with our students. Remember, this is already saved in your account. But what I'm actually doing is I'm going to click on Done, okay, which will then kind of close down that window. I'm just going to escape from this screen here, come back to my account, because I just want to show you then, if I come back here and now refresh this page, so I just need to refresh my account, you'll see that that video has now been saved, there it is, into my account. Now this is really interesting because look what I can do. I can play the video of course, preview it, but I can also click here and I can share it, I can move it, I can delete it, but if I click on share, I can share the link to the video and that way we can share it as an email and students can access it. But I could also embed this video. So how does that work? Well, let's say I just copy the code. When you embed, you've also got a few settings here if you want as well. For example, you might want to choose autoplay so that the video plays immediately. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that embed code and I'm going to jump over to Blogger now. And I'm going to just show you how simple it is to embed. Uh, it could be Blackboard, it could be Moodle, it could be WordPress, it could be uh, all sorts of uh, websites that you want to embed the video into. But I'm just going to simply show you an example working with Blogger. So let's open Blogger. So we click on Blogger. I've actually got a blog here that I'm creating at the moment. So I'm going to click on New Post to make it easy. Just going to embed that. And in fact, what I need to do is to change it to HTML. Obviously, whatever system you're going to use, you'll have to make sure that you're you're doing the correct way around, um, so that you can just then paste the code in. It's that easy. And in fact, if we click on let's click on preview, in fact, we should actually see now that that video has been embedded into the screen. There it is, absolutely perfect. And I can even play the video back as well. I can click here or I can click here. And so you can see how powerful it is when you want to uh, take a video and embed it straight into uh, whatever system you're using. Okay, really hope you like that video. Please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Lots more free content. You can see it all on the front page. And you can see the menu system here along the top as well. You can of course find out about my complete training in educational video creation. And if you want to, you can sign up to the newsletter and get that 14 part free video course. I send you a video about every four, three or four days on a different topic around technology and education. And of course, the newsletter also includes the blogs and the webinars and the online courses and all the latest videos. You can also contact me from this web page if you wanted to contact me about some doing some training with your organization or even with you as an individual and thank you very much i'm going to leave some more videos on the screen now about screen capture